Hello everyone, my name is Saul Ojeda. I'm an online tutor here at EOP. Um, and I will go over the AP Environmental Science Review session. First, let's go over some test taking strategies. First, how to approach the AP exam. Um, in order to perform well in the test, you should be able to pace yourself. You should be able to use process of elimination. Maybe uh, you, the use of mnemonics, you know, playing with words. Um, being able to identify the question types and being able to anticipate the essay before it's given to you. Uh, so let's go a little more in depth with each one of these. First, pacing your, yourself. Uh, the difficulty of questions increases gradually, so the questions at the beginning of the test are easier than the questions toward the end of the test. So make sure you answer the easier questions first, which are the ones at the beginning of the test. Um, and remember that you have 100 questions and you, and you only have 90 minutes to answer those 100 questions. Uh, since you'll be skipping problems, make sure that when you fill out the bubble, it's the right one, it's the one that corresponds to that specific um, question. Don't get the questions and bubbles uh, mixed up because um, you could lose a lot of points. Um, how to use process of elimination. You can, you, you, it's possible to get a perfect score without knowing a single right answer provided you know all the wrong answers. So um, if you don't know the right answer, you you might be able to tell that a few of them are, 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 are definitely wrong. So if they're wrong, then you, you should be able to tell that the other one has to be the right answer. Um, even when you don't know the answer, you surely know that two or three of the answers are not, are not correct. So word association always helps with this as well. Mnemonics, environmental science name games, are they, it's just rhymes or phrases that may help you memorize words or definitions, and it can be as goofy as you like as long as they help uh, as long as they help you learn. Identifying the question types, well, about ten percent are except not least type of questions, and remember that you're looking for the wrong or the least correct answer, or you, you might have a question where it's not just that uh, they all sound right, so the right answer is not just any of them, it's the most right answer. Um, so just ma make sure that you read the, the question properly um, in order to know what they're asking for. Anticipating the essay, there are four essay questions to answer in 90 minutes. <clears throat> So that's about 22 minutes per question. So make, make sure that you don't spend a lot of time thinking about it or you have to get on the, on the, on the, on the writing and write fast. Uh, the four free, free response questions will be based on one do, document-based questions uh, based on data provided or synthesis or analysis questions where you might have to do a few calculations. <laughs> Um, uh, be, before um, writing the essay, I recommend some quick brainstorming outline, but not too long. Because remember, they only have about 22 uh, minutes per question. So, but it, 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 it always helps to write faster when you have a small outline of what you want to write about. Um, level your your diagrams and figures, um, and also if you review your your labs covering your AP course, it will. Um, help you um, when answering the essays. Again, these are some test-taking strategies. 